In this video, we will look at local coordinate systems and building DEMs. Agisoft is capable of creating digital elevation maps. This is a 2D grayscale image with information about height that can be used in a number of other applications, including ArcGIS, to evaluate landscapes, water flow, and all manner of geographic measurements. This can be quite useful within archaeology, even for non-terrain models as was shown in the lecture. Note that DEMs can only be created for flat surfaces as they are captured in a single orientation. The creation of a DEM requires a georeference surface, which is not always possible to create. In this case, you need to create a local coordinate system by creating points and updating the photos to match the coordinates. The first step is to create three points on the model. Right click and press add marker. It doesn't matter where the points are particularly, but ideally they should be out towards the edges so you get the full spread over the model. If you cannot see your points, click the show markers button at the top. Next, in the references window, turn on all the markers by ticking the boxes and select all of the photographs by clicking one and then pressing Ctrl A. Next, press the update button and you have completed your local coordinate system. To ensure this has worked, click the workflow menu and make sure DEM is not greyed out. If it is, you may also need to save your file. In the workflow tab, select build DEM. Keep the settings as they are, but turn off interpolation as you want to stop at the edges of the model, rather than draw to the edge of the workspace. It is possible to create DEMs from the mesh and from the depth maps. We have found that a better DEM is created with a dense cloud. Now that you've created your 3D model and DEM, you'll want to export them. To do this, go to the file menu, export DEM, and then TIFF. You do not need to change any of the settings in this menu, so just click export. You will be asked where you want to save your file, so choose a folder and give it a sensible name. We usually follow the file name with underscore DEM, so that we can differentiate between the files later on. In this video, we have created a local coordinate system, and we have built a DEM and exported it. 